President's comments yesterday, he seemed to call out uh, Manchin and Cinema for, he said, voting more for, with Republicans than Democrats. But um, ProPublica actually found that they've so far vo voted with Biden 100% of the time on, on major votes. Um, and so can you explain where those comments came from and why he felt the need to call out members of his own party? Well, I would say first that if Senator Manchin and Senator Cinema were standing with me here today, they're always welcome, uh, they would call out their own independent streaks. And that's something that I think they're both proud of. Uh, they both vote for and represent the people in the states uh, that and all the people who elected them uh, to represent them in the Senate. Uh, if you look at what the, sen the president said, the big tell here is I hear all the folks on TV saying, now as a former TV pundit myself, um, I can tell you that sometimes these conversations can be oversimplified. TV isn't always made for complex conversations about policy making. We all know that, right? And what the president was simply conveying is that uh, he, his uh, threshold, his litmus test is not to see eye to eye on every single detail of every issue. Uh, and he doesn't with Senator Cinema and Senator Manchin. And he doesn't with Senator Capito, who's coming here later this afternoon. He believes there's an opportunity to work together, to make progress, to find areas of common ground, uh, even if you have areas of disagreement. And he also believes that sometimes, um, because there are three uh, entities, uh, three branches of government, something he knows well, having served 36 years in the Senate, that sometimes it's not a straight line to victory or success, that uh, sometimes, uh, you know, it takes more time and, um, you know, he's open to many paths forward. So I, I don't think he was intending to convey other, anything other than a little bit of commentary on TV punditry. Well, it did seem to suggest that he is in favor of filibuster reform and wants to see that move. So why hasn't he been more prominent in calling for that? And is he pressuring Manchin and Cinema to move on that issue privately? I wouldn't say that that his comments yesterday were conveying a new position on his view on the filibuster. His full comment was by saying that Manchin and Cinema are standing in the way of his agenda. Essentially, what was he referencing? That, that's not exactly what he said. I think it's important to quote him directly. What he said was. Uh, I hear all the folks on TV saying, why doesn't Biden get this done? Well, because Biden only has a majority of effectively four votes in the House and a tie in the Senate with two members of the Senate who vote more with my Republican friends. He's not, he was not giving a specific commentary on a policy. He was conveying again that sometimes that's the summary shorthand version that he sees on, on cable news at times. Uh, again, it's not always the forum that's easy to provide guidance on how a bill becomes a law. Uh, his view on the filibuster continues to be uh, that there should be a path forward uh, for Democrats and Republicans to make voting easier, to move forward on progress for the American people. Uh, that position hasn't changed, and he was not intending to convey something different. Go ahead.